Hi, I'm Julie, and for my EC5760 final project, I made a clock tower. Um, and so this looks like just a little green sheet of paper, but it actually uh, made augmented reality, where, uh, as you can see over here, it is a digital image superimposed on uh, what's not actually there. So you can tilt it, it'll, it'll scale if you, get, if you get close to it, it'll scale out if you move away, uh, tilts again. Um, and so, that is my final project. And the way that it works is that um, I'm detecting this green color, so let's put it in this mode. Um, so this is the actual green detection, and I'm doing, a I'm doing both a medium, so when, this is the raw YUV um, detection of the green. And if you notice, the edges are very jaggedy. They're like not great. They're rippling a little bit. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So what I do is I actually median filter it, which will uh, a seven by seven median filter, which will remove up to three pixels of uh, noise. Mm -hmm. And I'm also you can also time average it. So you'll notice right now there's not too much latency. You time average it up to four frames, and then you'll see um, a little more. Oh, oops, wrong one, wrong setting. Can't see it in that mode. Uh, so right here, you'll see there's a little bit of lag. That's because I'm yeah. averaging over four frames, yeah. versus here there's very little lag. Right. And then I have a pretty complicated corner detection algorithm, which will kind of follow the corners as they move. Uh, there's a little bit of corner ambiguity when it hits that nine degree case. These lines that you see are to make sure that uh, when I'm in this kind of 90 degree rotation angle, um, it doesn't they don't like flip around. And also actually the corners you know are a little bit laggy. That's because I'm also doing a uh, 11 point median filter on those as well. And that will, uh, what it does is I record all the different, um, I keep a running register of all the past corner locations, apply median filter over that, uh, I sort it, pick the median, and so that way the corners don't like jump back and forth or do anything crazy. So there's a median filter in time. Over time, yes. Yeah, okay. So I have medium filter over time for the corners and over space for the actual uh, the for the pink. Uh -huh. And so you can see, there you go. And so uh, based on the distance between the front left and the front right, I decide how to scale my clock tower. I also have a bunch of lookup tables to do um, some trigon trig trigonometry tr um, transformations or to kind of get that rotation, which you can see like that. Um, and applied some computer vision concepts. So, and this is all uh, this is all executing on a on a DE two one one five. Yes, that's correct. And um, a, a little camcorder for input. Yep. All right. And I actually have a uh, one little thing. The actual the name of this project is Bruce in a Box. And the reason for that is <laughs> 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 there you are, there you are in a box. <laughs> <laughs> so I always have a little bit of fifty-seven sixty to bring with me. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. So there's a lot of computer vision in this. A lot. So um, there's a lot of digital signal processing, a lot of computer vision stuff. In order to even like apply a transform, first you have to translate it to the center, rotate all the points, and then scale it. And so that's how I determine whether or not I can actually, uh, like where to place this image. The image that you see on the screen is actually being read out from ROM, um, with read-only memory, and then transformed and all sorts of stuff um, in order to get it onto the screen. So you, you take it out, yes, you have to take it out of ROM, you have to transform it and then translate it back to the center of the green and, and at the correct yeah, angle yeah. and all that stuff. Probably the most challenging part of this project was getting corner detection reliably working. Let me, um, let me try this. I want to. Yeah. So the the corner detection is quite impressive. Uh, the VGA cord gets out sometimes. So. So as I get closer, I get bigger. Tracking is quite good. Thank you. <laughs> cool. Okay. So now we're trying to we're trying to map the the small image of me to point at my own face here. Oh, he wants to point at the camera. 
pointing at the camera. Uh, uh. There we go. <laughs> Lovely. Very nice. So you can just, I can stick my video finger in my own mouth. Nice. Very nice.